So hello guys, this is the man Piggy5 here once again, back at you with another video and in this video I will try to do my best to give you guys some tips on improving your gameplay experience in Counter Strike Global Offensive. Now I am not the best at this game, not even close, um, however I did improve a lot uh, throughout the recent months. Uh, recent two months that is I ranked up the legendary ego master on two of my accounts and I think I'm close to separate master uh, First class, so I think I should be that pretty soon But um, I did improve a lot and a lot of things I see people doing wrong in the lower ranks And I think that I can give some insight on these little things to help you guys get better at this game Such as like things such like simple things like how to control your recoil how to move around what to do in certain scenarios and as I said, I'm not the best because there's a lot I have yet to learn about this game. But I hope you guys will um, enjoy. Now the first part will be about your video settings. So let's just get straight into it. Brightness, always I have it on 1.6, which is the brightest setting. I find that the darkest setting, which is right this, uh, which is this, just it's way too dark for me. I mean, I don't know why I would have that. Just keep it on the brightest settings, in my opinion this works the best. Of course this, this depends on the brightness of your monitor, but I find putting on, on 1.6 works the best for me. Now, aspect ratio and resolution is on hold and they're hopping on itself, but um, just to clear up, if you cannot get a stable 60 plus FPS, lower this. Um, if you have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor, which I'm thinking you have, lower it down to 720p and see how that works. If you are getting consistently above 60 frames per second and like the way the image looks, then uh, keep it at that. However, there are a lot of pro players which use 4.3 resolution and something like 1024 by 768 uh, with black bars or stretched. That's a whole other topic on itself. I will link a video in the description so you can check it out, which will explain that in more detail. But pretty much people play on this resolution uh, to have the image stretch more. Which in turn makes the um, makes the characters look a bit fatter, if that's the correct word, um, and makes it easier to hit them. I myself prefer playing on 1080p because that's just how I'm used to it. But if you want to mess around with this stuff, which will of course give you more FPS, uh, feel free to do that. Of course, this can give you an edge as well if you have something like a very bad computer. And if you can get like 100 FPS with this setting, then feel free to use this and I would pref prefer using this as well. Um, this I have always at full screen. You can have this full screen window, it doesn't really matter at all. I just prefer having it at full screen. Um, this doesn't apply to me because I use a desktop, but if you have a laptop, I would also disable this. Now here's where some of the uh, funky stuff comes in. Shadow detail, always, always try to keep it on high. Uh, there have been a lot of moments where you can see somebody um, jumping a corner or walking a corner or whatever. Just because you have high global shadow quality. You can see them from further away. Um, of course, if you cannot play on high, try to set it on medium. So you can see some shadows. But putting it on high allows you to see the enemy shadow from quite a distance away. Which, if you're in a 1v1 situation, it helps out a lot. So of course, always have this on high. Model texture detail, effect detail. These two doesn't really affect your in-game um, visibility at all. So I will just keep this, both of them on high. Of course, if you have a bad computer, set this to low. Shouldn't matter too much. Shader detail. Now, this is uh, the biggest setting that makes your game look pretty, I guess. If you have this on a uh, very high, uh, what it does is it allows you to, for example, if you have a skin, like the Case Harden skin, it will reflect the sun if you have it on high and you, it will look very nice. However, if you have it on low, it looks very dull. And something like the Deagle, the default skin, looks very dull on low settings. However, if you have this on low, it improves your visibility a lot, especially if there are like smokes and stuff. I would strongly recommend putting this to low. Also, if you are an opper or you like to play with the scout or something, the scope blur animation which you get when you are walking while zoomed in is way less when you have this put on low. So just try to keep that on low and yeah, let's continue. Multicore rendering enabled gives you more FPS. Multi sampling and the sync mode. I would personally, if you have don't have a good computer, set this to none. However, I have a very good computer, so I can turn this to eight times MSAA. 
that's just what I prefer and I would recommend putting this to none if you have a medium PC um, or just 8 times I'm say if you do not care at all. Texture filtering mode I have on bilinear because at longer distances it will make it slightly easier to distinguish the enemy from the background. That's why I have this at bilinear. FXA anti-aliasing what it simply does it, it blurs the image. Um, it blurs the image so that the jagged edges uh, appear more smooth. I would have this at disabled because you do you want the clearest image you can get, so set this on disabled. Vertical sync disabled and motion blur disabled always. Motion blur only makes it more difficult to see enemies when turning left to right really fast. And vertical sync makes your FPS lag to your frame rates uh, to your monitor's refresh rate. And it also causes mouse lag, so always have this disabled. Now these are the settings I used, of course there are a lot of other settings like audio settings and keyboard and mouse settings, but I will get on get into these in a different video. Hope you guys found this video helpful, if you want to see a different topic be sure to leave it on the comments below. For now guys, this has been the man for Pikify, and I'm out.